The History of the Hatak Gwald Mothership The Hatak is a class of spaceship designed by the Gwald during the reign of the Gwald Empire in the Milky Way Galaxy. The Hatak served as the main class of capital ship employed by most Gwald system lords. During the height of the Gwald Empire, the Hatak was among one of the most powerful vessels in the Milky Way with hundreds having been positioned around the galaxy to cement and protect the power of the Gwald Empire. Following the fall of the Gwald Empire in 2005, the Hatak's presence in the galaxy endured, being adopted as the main battleship of the Free Jaffa Nation. Though the Hatak remained largely unparalleled in terms of overall power when compared to the ships of most races in the galaxy for centuries, the Hatak's presence has dramatically declined following the fall of the Gwald. The ships of several other races, including the Asgard, Tori, and Ori, currently possess technologies and capabilities that far exceed that of the modern Hatak. The Hatak's length is 700 meters, its width is 650 meters. Its height is 315 meters. It has sublight and hyperdrive engines fueled by Naquita. Its countermeasures include Gwald shields, a self-destruct measure, 60 staff cannons, and an unknown number of Naquita bombs. It also holds 12 wings of death gliders and 3 wings of Alkesh bombers. Minimum crew is 1 to 12 people, passengers over 2,000 Jaffa troops, Cargo capacity, 700,000 tons. It also carries 15 transportation rings and several sarcophagi. The Hatak consists of two sections. The main section is a golden square base pyramid built into the center of the vessel, containing the majority of primary systems as well as the command areas and glider bays. Built around the pyramid is a much larger triangle-shaped superstructure, which wraps around the center of the pyramid. The outer structure houses the vessel's weapons. The oldest class of Hataks, such as those used by the Gwald Ra, were around 10,000 years ago. A Hatak's armaments is vast, possessing 60 high-powered staff cannons scattered around the superstructure. These can be used for ship-to-ship -ship combat or orbital bombardment. It can also house a large number of death gliders for use as a fighter screen or tactical maneuvers. It is equipped with powerful shields and a hyperdrive of superior performance to anything else in the Gwald fleet. A Hatak is not to be mistaken for the pyramid landing ship, for the ship that lands on pyramids is called a Sheops class warship. Thank you for watching the history of the Hatak Gwald mothership. Please like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. You guys rock. Have a great day. The History of the al a Gwald Mid-Range Bomber Manufacturer, the Gwald Class, Bomber Transport Length, 35 meters Height, 15 meters Engine Unit, Sublight Engines Fuel, Naquita Alloy Hyperdrive System, Interstellar Countermeasures, Cloaking Device Armament Two staff cannons and plasma charges. Crew 12 people, minimum crew 2 people, passengers 50. Other systems, transportation rings. The Alkesh is a powerful Gwald mid range bomber and troop carrier used to attack fortified positions on planetary surfaces. Serving as a support role during the invasions by the system lords. It is larger than the Teltec scout ship and the Death Glider, yet much smaller than the Hatak mothership. Following the defeat of the Gwal, the al has also been used by cultures that were formerly under Gwal domination, such as the Free Jaffa and the Lucian Alliance. 
The Alcash, like most Gwald ships, is pyramid-shaped in design. Two large wings extend from the base, which curve into the cockpit at the head of the vessel. The Alcash is capable of sub-light travel by means of four engine nacelles at the rear of the craft, as well as a hyperdrive for interstellar travel. The engine controls use typical Gwald control crystals. The bridge of the Alcash has a control station and two pilot chairs, one with a spherical control interface. The bridge of the Alcash can also be its greatest weakness as its location is prominent and vulnerable to a well-placed blast from a staff cannon. If the bridge is hit, the craft is completely disabled and will crash as it is without a pilot. The Alcash is equipped with two staff cannons mounted on a pivoting turret on the ventricle side. It can also drop plasma charges from the same side, which are powerful enough to penetrate and collapse toker tunnels. Its weapons are superior to that of a death glider and it is shielded, falling behind only in maneuverability. The effectiveness of the shields is debatable, however, since even a couple of non-nuclear Tori missiles are capable of depleting them, or a few hits from a death glider. However, both cases have taken place in an atmosphere in which Gwald shields are severely weakened. It also possesses a cloaking device. It is commonly used to take out ground defenses, occasionally supported by death gliders, serving as a fighter screen. For movement of troops and equipment, it is equipped with transportation rings, which sit in a large room that can also be used for storage. The cargo bay is sufficient to store several stargates. Some have been modified to use an Asgard transporter. The ships are capable of transporting loads via a suspended sling over the surface of a planet, and some have been adapted to tow cargo vessels into space. The Lucian Alliance has also been able to modify several Alkesh to pull multiple containers behind it for transport of CASA. Thank you for watching the history of the Alcash mid-range bomber. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.